Hey guys and gals, Stanny Boy here. And today I got the Pixel Watch 2. Um, of course, I got this new uh, with my uh, Google Pixel 8 Pro order. They're, you know, at the launch, they threw in a free watch. So when you ordered the phone here, you got the uh, watch for free. So pretty sweet deal. You know, one of the best deals I've seen in a while, considering it is a $350 watch normally. Now, I have been using the Galaxy Watch 5 here. Uh, it's been a really good watch. I've enjoyed it. Uh, pretty, you know, standard affair, uh, which you would expect with a watch. Of course, I've been daily driving the Galaxy S23 Ultra until I just got the Pixel 8 Pro. And uh, it's been a good watch, but... Uh, you know, I think it'll be sweet to have the Pixel Watch with the Pixel phone, right? I mean, I think that only makes sense. Um, so that's what I've got here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it compares with my Galaxy Watch 5. Um, you know, I, I before the Galaxy Watch 5, I had an Apple Watch Series 4, I think, back when I used iPhones from time to time. And it's pretty comparable, those two watches, the Series 4 with the Galaxy Watch 5, pretty comparable. So this will be the only the third watch brand I've ever had uh, for a smart watch. So, well, you know, I take that back. I might have had another one a while back. Like, I don't remember, honestly. But in recent times, that would be the case. Um, so we'll see how it is. Um, I don't know, you know, to what degree I'll do videos on this, uh, just because it's a watch, and I don't know if there's really a lot that I can cover on it. But anyway, I thought I'd shoot the unboxing at least. I might do at least another video on it just to tell how things are going. But I can go ahead and break the seal on this and we can get into it here. Um, so if I pull the seal here like that. Okay. And let's have a gander. Whoa, now that's a pretty sweet presentation. I wasn't really expecting that because uh, the phone was very kind of you know, a little below par, if you will, or just normal, I guess. But here we are. Here's the watch. Um, we've got the cable here. Um, let's see. I'm assuming. Okay. Um, so it looks like it's some type of magnetic, maybe a four pen connection here. So it is proprietary. Uh, no USB type C or anything like that into the watch and no generic magnet or wireless charging. There it is, a proprietary charging. And let's see what we got here. Oh, this is, I guess, a second, or maybe it's part of the watch band. I guess the bottom part. <laughs> okay. Now, one thing that I will say is these Google bands are supposed to be pretty easy to put on and on, on and off the watch. Um, my Galaxy Watch 5 uses standard, uh, you know, pens there. And they're kind of um, not the easiest to deal with. So I am looking forward to this being an easier setup. You know, because I have not been happy with the Galaxy Watch 5 in that respect, and really only that respect. It's just a kind of a nuisance to change a band out on that watch. So hopefully this, with the more custom way of doing it that's supposed to be easy, hopefully this will be a lot better here on the Pixel Watch too. Now, of course, like I basically just said, I've never had a Pixel Watch. I didn't have the Pixel Watch 1, so 
that's kind of where I'm at here. So we'll see how this goes. You know, I think it's going to be fine. Um, and let's go ahead and pull the watch out here. Oh, so it is a uh, maybe they're different sizes. I don't know why there's another <laughs> band end here, but uh okay so first impressions is high quality that's the third first thought that comes to my mind um pull this off you know i did look at a pixel watch one maybe a year ago like at best buy but that was it so it's been a long time since i've seen a pixel watch um but yeah very cool looking design, guys. It, it looks like an expensive watch, in my opinion. Is this a different length? Okay, well, there we go. It's longer if you got a bigger wrist. But I like how the band wraps up around the casing. I like this casing. It's good design. I like that. It feels premium. Okay, we've got a nice, shiny, glossy that kind of mimics the gloss I was talking about on the phone here. Crown looks really nice. Feels pretty normal. Um, yeah, got a button here. Um, so yeah, looking at the back here, we've got that updated heart rate sensor they talked about and the... Uh, whatever it was, the keynote. So now we've got some type of slot there, maybe a speaker grill. I don't think it's an actual slot you would slide something into, obviously. But the, the nice thing about the Pixel Watch is it's like got this tapered edge, so it does have a premium look and feel. One thing it does possibly concern me is that crown getting hooked on something as you're wearing it. I can see that being a potential cause for concern that if that crown got caught on something as it was on your wrist that could be a bad day. Uh, so I'll have to keep an eye on that but again compared to the Galaxy Watch here right off the bat guys the Pixel Watch looks substantially more premium. This looks more standard, like a, a watch you would buy, like a digital watch that you would buy that's, say, 30 to 50 But I mean, I don't want to be hard on it, but it just has a more traditional digital watch look. This looks more like a piece of jewelry, if you will, more... Like a, the old Nike watches back in the day, like 25 years ago or 20 years ago, they looked really nice. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Just has a premium design. So we shall see. Um, I can fire it on real fast. You know, being a watch, um, let's see how I turn it on here. <sighs> Okay, there it goes. Um, you know, uh, once you get it set up the way you like it, that's pretty much it, at least for me. I'm usually not customizing my watch. or It's more utilitarian versus the smartphone for me. So this is exciting, guys. It's, you know, fun to get something you've never had before. So we'll see how it goes. I'll get it all set up. Um, and just use it and see what I think after maybe a week or two of using it. Um, now, as far as screen size, I think, you know, like, I think there's, I don't know if there's different sizes with the Galaxy Watch. Uh, it looks roughly the same maybe a tad smaller in screen real estate here it does look colorful and bright uh, from what i can tell so far but maybe just a touch smaller in real estate area i don't know i would say probably a little bit 
But that, again, to me, it's not a super big deal. As long as it does what I need it to do, that's what really matters. But as far as the $350 price tag, all I can say is, again, premium design here. People were saying, why is it $350? Honestly, guys, it looks premium. I don't see why it wouldn't be expensive or you know, I don't know what to say about 350 but I, I can see it being 350 Um, Yeah. So, there it is wanting to connect with my phone. So, I think I'll do that. And I guess I can pause video so I can go through this and then get to the desktop here. All right, so I'm back in here, and here's the desktop on the watch. Took maybe five minutes to go through. I did skip the Fitbit and um, just kind of went through it a little bit faster. But this is the uh, face here. We've got steps, heart rate. It's kind of hard to tell the actual watch surface area because let me unlock it here. Um, because it made me set up a pen. Uh, it says waiting for my thing to charge here. Uh, so I don't know what it's exactly doing. It does want to do an update. Uh, so yeah, guys, you know, I can't tell the actual surface here. I would say it's maybe a little bit smaller than a Galaxy Watch 5, just a touch. Um, but, you know, again, to me, a watch is utilitarian. So as long as it's big enough, that's all that matters to me. So, and this appears to be plenty big, you know, looking at it on my wrist. I mean, it's a little small, at least compared to my Galaxy Watch 5, but it does look more expensive. So, I think it'll be fine, guys. Um, so, yeah. I'll just have to use it for a while and see what I think. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and end the video here. Um, as always, guys, if you're enjoying my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Of course, hitting that thumbs up button down there helps out as well. For now, guys, peace out.